From growing up in a humble farming family in a small village in Chhattisgarh to achieving a phenomenal feat of making 1 crore in the stock market in his very first year back in the 1990s to proving that a mutual fund can also become a multi-bagger. These are the kind of achievements of a remarkable stock market investor Madhusudan Kela who believes in the power of strong relationships and continuous self-improvement or what he loves to call it as compounding to become a better person with each passing day. Hello and welcome to our channel 5 Minute Finance by ET Money where we talk about the basics of personal finance. Today's video is going to be slightly different from what we have been doing since the start of this channel. We are going to tell you an inspirational story of an outstanding investor Madhusudan Gela who was a perfect example of humble beginnings to the pinnacle of the stock market. So let's look at Kela's journey and take important learnings from him on how to succeed in creating wealth in the stock market. Born in a farmer's family, Madhu Kela's story began in Kurut, a small village in Chhattisgarh. He studied in a Hindi medium school. To save 2 rupees travelling cost, he cycled 30 kilometers every day to attend college lectures. He completed his BCom degree and moved to Mumbai with a dear friend to study masters. He did his Masters of Management from the prestigious KJ Somaya Management College. In an interaction with CNBC, he shared an interesting incident. It was in 1989-90, what he called as the Harshad Mehta Zira. There were boys who were investing in the stock market. A boy was making a call at the stock exchange through a public booth, who suddenly started screaming that he made 5,000 rupees. Another boy screamed that he made 2,000 rupees. Imagine that kind of money back in 1990s. Now to give you some idea about the value of 5000 rupees in the 1990s, well, if someone would have invested 5000 rupees in Sensex at that time, his money would have grown over 460,000 at current levels of the index. So this incident strengthened his conviction that stock markets can make him great wealth. Madhu Kela admits that to him stock market was like love at the first sight. He has shared in many interviews that when he entered the market in 1992, he was earning 12,000 rupees salary at that time, which was more than that of his batchmates. And that's when he realized that the stock market was a medium to have a better living. He believed that no other kind of job would have given him that much money. Now, after completing his education, Madhu Kela began his career in equity research with Sifku and Sher Khan. Later, he went to join Motilalo Swal as a working partner and was lucky enough to have earned 1 crore in his first year itself, he told in an interview to CNBC. Now this further convinced him about the strength of stock markets to create long-term wealth. In 1996, he joined the UBS group. However, the real turning point came in 2001 when he joined Reliance Mutual Fund. From 2004 to 2010, Madhu headed the 40-strong equity investment team at Reliance Mutual Fund, now Nippon India Mutual Fund. Under his leadership, Reliance Mutual Fund achieved remarkable success, becoming India's first fund with an assets under management of 1 lakh crore rupees. The Reliance Growth Fund, led by Madhu Kela, achieved an impressive 32% compound annual growth rate between 2004 and 2010. Kela has been heard quoting several times during his interviews that it was one of his proudest moments as he was able to create wealth for others. He proved that even mutual funds can give multi-bagger returns like individual stocks. In 2005, he identified small and mid-cap companies that were primed for high growth. His foresight to pick such multi-bagger companies made him a popular and one of the most sought-after fund managers. He invested in the likes of BEML, Kirloskar Brothers and Jay Prakash Associates. They were all multi-baggers with attractive valuations and had a potential for huge returns. After 2009, Madhu Kela shifted his focus to the pharmaceutical sector, making disproportionately large investments. He recognized the medium-term opportunities within the sector and the potential for significant gains. His belief in this approach was well-founded as the pharmaceutical sector's growth validated his strategy. He quit the Reliance Group in 2017 to launch his own company in January 2018 under the name of MK Ventures. He is also on the board of various other companies. 
in madhu kela's every conversation or interview one thing remains constant his deep gratitude and reverence for the legendary investor rakesh junjunwala it is not in terms of that they shared common stocks in their portfolio but in terms of what all he had learned from him over the years additionally kela attributes a significant portion of his knowledge on enhancing efficiency in mastering time management to the book 18 minutes by peter bregman Now do your own research if you want to create big wealth madhu kela believes that borrowed conviction may not create big wealth for you you have to have your own conviction to create wealth when you invest in shares he emphasizes on looking for quality of the promoter if you are looking for good companies to invest in and review your investing ideas quarterly if there is some problem in any company in your portfolio he advises to get into the depth to understand the fundamental problem it may be temporary or permanent if it's temporary you may hold back depending on other factors as well but for instance if you were stuck with kodak kind of company it would be a permanent problem so the decision would have been simple to move out of such a company he has always said that volatility can be your best friend to create wealth in the long term he also emphasizes the importance of emotional control in long term investing he believes in creating good relationships and becoming a better person or what he loves to call compounding the better version of yourself with each passing day with this we have come to the end of this video so i hope today's video got you some inspiration and learnings from the investing journey of the astute investor madhu kela don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel if you want us to explore some specific topics related to stock investing please let us know in the comment section and we'll see you with another insightful video soon mutual fund investments are subject to market risks read all scheme related documents carefully